Right. Here's Mora again looking for another score. Gets away from the defense. Canada men's rugby sevens top players. Despite being a strong sport in areas like British Columbia, Atlantic Canada, and Ontario, rugby is only a moderately popular sport in Canada. Rugby Canada, the host union for the HSBC Canada Sevens, is the national governing body of the sport of rugby union in Canada. Rugby football has a long history in Canada, dating back to its initial appearance in the 1860s. Since 1974, Rugby Canada has been a permanent fixture on the global rugby scene, including trips to each of the eight Men's Rugby World Cups and seven Women's Rugby World Cups. As a regular on the men's and women's HSBC World Rugby 7 series, Canada continues to climb the world rankings and challenge the dominant rugby nations in both versions of the game. Canada's women's rugby 7s team also made history in 2016, capturing the first ever bronze medal at the Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. The Canada 7s men's team has scored a whopping 15,839 points in the 914 matches played. These points were earned out of 2,547 tries and 1,546 conversions. Their win rate currently stands at 44% and they have only drawn 18 matches. Hence the average points per match is 17.33 and almost 3 tries per game, which is pretty neat for a team trying to find its way up the rugby space. It is worth noting, however, that Canada is known internationally because of their impressive performance on the pitch. And in this video, we are going to look into this performance a bit closer and single out some players who have toiled the most to raise the team's flag high. Be sure to watch the video to the very end, especially if you want to know how the Rugby 7 senior men's compare to the Rugby 7 senior women's. Number 4. Justin Douglas First up, we have Justin Douglas, a Canadian rugby union player in the sevens discipline. He was born in Abbotsford, British Columbia, and started playing rugby at age 13 after watching both of his brothers play. Justin Douglas made his World Rugby 7 Series debut on the Gold Coast of Australia in October 2012 at just 18 years old. This made him one of the youngest players to be used by Canada's men's sevens team. What made his debut all the more impressive is that just a year earlier he tore his MCL and ACL. All this came after he moved to Victoria as a teenager to become part of the BC Elite Youth Sevens program. He became the first graduate to be named in a senior Canada Sevens squad. In 2013, Douglas made his first appearance at the World Cup Sevens, helping Canada finish as plate champions, ninth place overall. At the 2018 World Cup Sevens, he scored a pair of tries in Canada's 29-21 qualification round win over Papua New Guinea. Canada would then go on to finish in 12th place. On the 7th series circuit, Douglas became a mainstay with the Canadian team for the 2014 season, finishing in the top 10 in matches and tries as Canada had its best ever finish, 6th place. Since then, Douglas has been one of the top performers for Canada as he sits 2nd in tries with 145 and 3rd in tackles, currently at 320. Douglas had a career highlight with Canada at the 27 Singapore Sevens Cup, scoring three tries to help Canada to their first ever tournament win. That helped Canada finish eighth on the season and secured their spot at the 2018 World Cup. In 2018, Douglas was awarded the Seven Series Impact Player of the Year, leading Canada with 35 tries. After first representing Canada at the 2011 Youth Commonwealth Games, Douglas has competed in the Senior Commonwealth Games in 2014 and 2018, finishing 9th both times. He helped Canada take home gold at the Toronto 2015 Pan Am Games. In his Olympic debut at Tokyo 2020, he scored 15 points with 3 tries in 6 games as Canada advanced to the quarterfinals. Number 3. Mike Furlifau Next up we have Mike Furlifau, a Canadian rugby union player also in the sevens discipline. He was born on March 20th, 1992 in Victoria, British Columbia, and started playing rugby at age 10. Furlifau admits that he could have been a rock star, but his dad made him play rugby, since he himself had played as an inside center for Samoa's national team. Mike Furlifau debuted for the Canadian sevens team at the beginning of the 2013 sevens series in Gold Coast. Later that year, he was selected to the World Cup sevens roster, 
where he started all six games and scored one try, helping Canada finish ninth in the series and become plate champions. In 2014, he competed in three seven series stops, helping Canada finish at a best ever sixth in the overall standings. He also made his first appearance at the Commonwealth Games, starting all six games and finishing ninth. He was part of the repeat ninth place finish at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. Fulifau had his breakthrough year in 2015, competing at each stop on tour and even being named to the Tokyo 7's dream team. He was a member of the Canadian team that missed out on an automatic berth for the Rugby 7's Olympic debut, losing to Team USA in the RAN 7's final. He scored three tries at the last chance qualifier for Rio 2016, but unfortunately Canada did not earn a spot at the Olympic Games. In 2017, Fuhr Lefau led Canada with 55 matches played in the seven series. He scored a team high five tries during their cup winning performance at the Singapore Sevens Cup, Canada's first ever tournament win. The win helped Canada get back into the top eight in season standings for the first time since 2014 and secured their berth at the 2018 World Cup. In 2020, he helped Canada win bronze at the Canada Seven Series in Vancouver, their best ever finish on home soil. At the end of the 2020 season, Fuhrlefau sat fourth in matches played and ninth in tries all time for Canada in the Seven Series. Fuhrlefau was a member of the RAN Sevens winning team in 2019, which secured Canada's spot at Tokyo 2020. In his Olympic debut, Fuhrlefau played in five games as Canada advanced to the quarterfinals. Hey, are you enjoying this video so far and getting entertained? If yes, then please be sure to visit our channel Triline, your home of all the amazing facts and developments in the world of rugby. Number 2. Harry Jones Moving on, we have Harry Jones, coming at first runners-up on the list. He is a rugby union fly half who plays for Greater Sydney Rams and Canada and was born on the 26th of August 1989 in Victoria, British Columbia. Harry Jones brings leadership and experience to the men's sevens national team as he shares captain duties with Nathan Hariyama. Since making his debut as an 18 year old in 2008, Jones has played more than 325 matches on the World Rugby Seven Series and scored more than 750 points, good for second and third all time, respectively, for Canada. After dealing with a serious pelvic injury that kept him out for the better part of two years, he became a full-time member of the senior team in 2012. That year, he helped Canada secure core status and got promoted to a full-time member on the World Rugby 7 Series. He also helped Canada qualify for the 2013 World Cup 7s by winning gold at the NACRA 7s tournament. Jones's first major senior international tournament for Canada was the 2013 World Cup 7s. He has suited up for Canada twice at the Commonwealth Games, in 2014 and 2018. In 2015, after finishing as Canada's highest scorer in the Seven Series, he helped Canada win gold at the Pan American Games. In the final, Jones scored the game-winning try with just 17 seconds left in front of a packed home crowd in Toronto. In 2017, Jones had a career highlight at the Singapore Sevens, helping Canada win their first ever Seven Series tournament. The win helped Canada finish 8th overall in the 7th series standing and qualify for the 2018 World Cup 7s. Following the World Cup win, Jones required shoulder surgery and returned to action partway through the 2019 7th series. In the summer of 2019, he helped ensure Canada wouldn't miss out on the 2020 Olympic Games. Jones led Canada to an undefeated record at the RAN 7s in the Cayman Islands, securing their berth at Tokyo 2020. Later that summer, he helped Canada take home silver at the Lima 2019 Pan Am Games, scoring one try during the semi-final win over Colombia. In the shortened 2019-27 series, he led Canada to their first podium finish on home soil, taking bronze in Vancouver. In his Olympic debut at Tokyo 2020, Jones scored 10 points on two tries as Canada advanced to the quarterfinals. As a fly half in rugby union, Jones represented Canada at the 2015 World Cup in England. He was captain of Canada's team at the 2009 IRB Junior World Championship in Japan. 
He also competed for Japan at the under-17 and under-19 levels while playing in the Canadian Rugby Championship for the BC Bears. Number 1. Nathan Hirayama Last on the list we have Nathan Hirayama. He was born on the 23rd of March 1988 in Richmond, Canada. He started playing rugby at age 14 and afterwards he decided to join the grade 8 rugby team at Hugh McRoberts Secondary High School together with his friends. Nathan Hirayama has been a mainstay for Canada 7 since making his debut in 2006 at the age of 18. Since then he has built a global reputation as one of the top playmakers in the game as his cool persona and style on the field lulls defenses into feeling they have him in check before he either breaks the line or creates for others. Hirayama is Canada's greatest point scorer in Rugby Sevens. At the end of the 2020 season, he sat third all-time in the World Rugby Sevens series, scoring with 1,859 points, and leads Canada in tries with 147, and matches played with 363. Ahead of his Olympic debut, Hirayama was selected as Team Canada's flag bearer for the Tokyo 2020 opening ceremony, alongside basketball veteran Miranda Ayim. He ended up as the team's second leading scorer with 19 points and 7 conversions in 10 attempts, as Canada advanced to the quarterfinals. Hirayama was third in seven series scoring when the season was cut short in 2020. At the last event before the pandemic caused shutdown, the Canadian team had their best ever finish since 2017 and best results ever on home soil, placing third in Vancouver. Hirayama was the leading scorer of the tournament and was named to the Dream Team. He has also featured for Canada's rugby union team and was the youngest player ever to earn their first senior cap when he stepped on against New Zealand in 2007. He has since earned 23 caps and was a member of the Canadian teams at the Rugby World Cup in 2007, 2011 and 2015. After not playing at all in 2007 and being a substitute for 2011, he started all four games in 2015, scoring 20 points. This was definitely a stellar performance. That's all we had for today and we hoped you enjoyed it. Did you agree with our list? Are there players you think we left out? Or who we slotted to a different position than the one that you prefer? Feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, stay safe.